about 15 years. Um, yes, we came here. Previously, I lived in Cowbridge, and before that, I was brought up in Llandovery. So, I do have some Welsh, a little Welsh. <laughs> Wow, um, sadly, I think because people are buying second homes and also renting out accommodation for summer, summer holidays, we, I think we're losing that. We've lost it here in Mathai because the pub is now closed, the shop is closed and the post office has gone on school. So. It's a very small community and, and the children have to travel to Llandailo for their secondary education now, which is a good 10 miles away. Well, it was great because we had lots of friends. In, I lived in Mice Glass, which was in the council estate, and my mum and dad had a small business in town, electrical business. and. We could go to the local playing areas and play tennis. I used to play tennis there, down by the castle. They're still there, fortunately. Um, and the other things, we had a youth club run by the church. I'm not sure if that's still going, but uh, that was a good place to go. I think you, they knew each other, which was good. We knew most of the people around and I met some, a couple of girls that I grew up with the other day when we went to a little church meeting and uh, it was it's nice to see. But I'm not so sure today because people don't walk so much. They go in their cars, so it separates people, I think. That's right, we, we go into the one in Brecon if we go shopping there, in, in the cathedral in the centre. That's, you can have coffee not, there. You know, that's not the cathedral, that's is St it? Mary's Church, that ah, is. Ah, right. The cathedral is up on the hill. Is it? Mm. Or the a really old one? Lots of people think it's the cathedral. Yeah. It's actually St Mary's Church, the Tower Cafe. Yes, yes. And you go in there? Yeah. Go in there. And do you feel it's a church experience or a cafe experience? Cafe. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, look at the building and the architecture and the windows, but other than that, no. It's, it's going for a cafe, really. Mm. How do you think places like Brecon and Camp uh, Devry have changed in the last 20 years? Wow. It's a hard one. That's really hard, yes. I suppose it's drawing the people in, isn't it, really? Uh, you're right, it's, it's a supermarket and pubs. Do you think people stay at home more nowadays? Yes. The internet I think they do, and especially after this um, COVID, because people maybe would have gone out more for meals and now stay at home. Mm. How was COVID, COVID for you? Well, we were in a fortunate position of being fairly isolated. Um, just shopping really, go very early in the morning and keep away. We saw our local farmer passing and he would occasionally stop and that was it really. Did you enjoy it or did you feel terribly vulnerable. Right no, I quite enjoyed it, yes. <laughs> I'm living in a beautiful spot in a lovely part of the country. Yeah. And we love gardening, so that kept us busy and, and fit. Because a lot of people in the city, sadly, couldn't go out, could they? They couldn't walk, they couldn't get any exercise. So we were very fortunate. Yeah.